Investment analysts often use earnings per share EPS forecast. One test of forecasting quality is zero mean test, which state that optimal forecasting should have mean forecasting error of zero. The forecasting error is the difference between predicted value of a variable and actual value of the variable. You have collected the data shown in the previous table for two analysts who cover two different industries. Analyst A covered the telecom industry and Analyst B covers automotive parts and suppliers. Question is, for Analyst A, determine whether to reject null at 0.05 level of significance. To determine whether to reject null hypothesis for Analyst A, Let's formulate null hypothesis first. Population mean of forecasting error mu is zero. Then alternative hypothesis becomes population mean of forecasting error is not zero. For analyst A, degree of freedom is nine. Then we can find the critical value for zero point Five significance level for two tail test becomes 2.262. Now let's calculate t score. T score can be calculated by sample mean minus population mean divided by sample standard deviation divided by root n. Sample mean for analyst A is 0 0.05 and population mean is 0. Standard deviation of analyst A is 0 0.1 and root 10. Then T value becomes 1.581. To do the hypothesis test, let's compare Critical value we found in the table 2.262 and minus 2.262 with 1.581. T value falls between critical value. So null hypothesis fails to reject, meaning that H0 is going to be accepted, that the population mean is 0.